Hey guys, here with another segment talking about the McGill Big Three. Last time we talked about the McGill Crunch. Just a review, real recap. When we do the McGill Crunch, we want to make sure our hands underneath the small of the back. One, things I didn't, one of the things I didn't say last time, I want to make an important point, that the abs, you got to imagine someone punching you in the gut here. You want to keep, create great stiffness and you want to contract against that stiffness. And think about opening up that, that you know, sticky jelly jar creating that stiffness. When you do that, you're gonna bring the shoulders up off the ground as if you're on a scale. The shoulders are on the scale, working at the thoracic spine and going down. So you don't wanna think about sucking the abs in. You wanna create, again, stiffness as if you're getting punched in the gut. We're gonna move now to number two, the side plank, which is another big part of the McGill three. There's a little bit of a progression in the side plank. Joe's gonna get into the side plank off his knees first. And when he comes up, Joe's gonna, we're gonna hip hinge into the side plank. So that's really important. A lot of people will get into the side plank and just go down and up, down and up. Joe, show another rep there. Come back and sit back into it. See how he's sitting back? And then he's gonna come up and hip hinge into the plank. He's gonna keep a nice stable core. This is working the QL, quadratus laborum, which McGill is big on. It's working the, obviously the obliques. It's working all the uh, musculature around the spine. Uh, especially the, the lateral sides. When Joe is in this position, he's gonna hold for eight seconds and he's gonna come down every eight seconds because we talk about giving the, uh, um, the muscle groups a chance to breathe, letting them get some oxygen. So the side plank, important, important exercise. Joe, you wanna add anything to this first progression? You just talk about the, the lat contraction, you know, because uh, you have the arm on the ground, you're supporting your body weight with your arm. You're also getting a lot of lat latissimus dorsi activation and that contracts down to the pelvis, so it's gonna give you even more core stiffness. Awesome. You know, good point, Joe, and that makes me think of another point Dr. McGill talks about. He talks about the core being between the two shoulder joints and between the two hip joints. So he's talking about the core, everything. So Dr. McGill talks about the lat being part of the core. So when we do these movements, it's important. So that's the side plank off the knees. That's an easy progression. Let's now go to the next progression. We'll have the right foot in front of the left. So feet on the ground. You see how Joe's working this? He's nice and flat. We also talk about if there's any shoulder discomfort or, or pain, we can take that right arm and kind of pull that shoulder in and down at the, main, main t at the um, same time, keeping a flat spine and keeping everything in line. A lot of times kids will they'll roll over too much and they'll do more of a, an ab type uh, a static hold opposed to or more of a traditional plank uh, than, a, than a side plank. Joe, anything you want to add to this progression? No, that was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. And then uh, a progression after this would be a little bit of a rolling motion. So Joe, you want to kind of go into that next progression of this side plank. Again, working that QL, working all those muscles and coming a little bit of a rotation. And it's so key to imagine you're locking the shoulders and hips. This is, this is one line and everything's kind of rolling together. You're not, you're not disengaging. You got to stay completely engaged from the top of the body, from the shoulder joint, all the way past the hip. Let's show one more. And we would hold these for eight seconds. You know, we would do eight seconds at a time with a one second rest. So the goal on one side is to get about 80 seconds of time under tension. You do this on both sides. You do the McGill crunch, and then we're gonna come back with bird dogs. That's a great six to eight minute workout. Unbelievable for the core. Awesome job. Thanks, Joe. We'll see you next time.